everybody, it's me, Mr. Marin, and for this week we were working on an art project which is due on Sunday, and you had two choices, um, either an installation artwork or a drawing to make based on the artwork of Michael Johansson, who I uploaded um, a slideshow with lots of examples of his work, and we were talking about creative constraints and how different artists use different kinds of constraints when working on artwork, whether they're by choice, like Michael Johansson, or by necessity, or something that they can't control, um, some sort of limitation um, or constraint that they have to work with. Uh, the drawing option that you guys had for this week, um, I already uploaded a picture of my drawing. Um, basically, I created a spatial constraint um, for my artwork with this drawing by creating a shape first. In this case, it's a circle. You could even just think of the whole rectangle of your paper as being the, con the space constraint. And I asked you to, after looking at Michael Johansson's artwork and how he creates his artwork by selecting a size and a shape and trying to pack that space with stuff. He makes 3D artwork, so his is more sculptural. He uses objects. But one way that you could do that in 2D form is by trying to fill up a space with drawings like the one that I have already shown you here. Drew the circle and then tried to fill it up with, with as much stuff as I can, almost like I was playing Tetris with drawings, right? I started off with some bigger ones. Um, I did black first as my first color. Um, I drew bigger shapes. And then as I kept going, my spaces got smaller and smaller, and I had to make smaller and smaller drawings to try to fill in the leftover space to try to pack as much in there as I could. For the other option, which we um, had as installation artwork, which we've talked about installation being a type of artwork that is specific to a certain time or place. Installations are usually not set up forever. They're usually set up in a space and then taken down later when um, the show where the artwork is supposed to be shown to people is over, um, or sometimes in public spaces, they can't stay up forever. So it's for in a certain place for a certain period of time. So I have made a video of me making an installation and in my house, you can choose objects like the direction said that are a certain color we see in Michael Johansson's artwork, a lot of times he makes his artwork based on a certain color where he collects a lot of objects that are all the same color, or you can base it on shape. So if you want to work with rectangular objects and try to make an installation with rectangular objects, you could do that too. So in your home, if you're working with color, trying to find objects that are a certain color that you can put together for your installation or objects that are a certain shape, that you could put together, or maybe even um, if you think of a certain use for objects, maybe if you are good at cooking or you have a lot of kitchen supplies in your house, maybe um, a similarity in their use. So if you try maybe instead of basing your objects off of color or shape to have a certain use, so kitchen objects, maybe food items, something like that, um, to find a space in your house and then try to play Tetris with those objects to make a installation. So here is my example of that right now. Alrighty, so like the direction said, I found a spot in my house that would be good for making an installation. It could have been a windowsill, or in this case I found a shelf um, that I cleared off to make my installation. Then I found a bunch of green objects in my house. I decided to work with color and I chose the color green. So basically, um, my phone didn't record the whole thing um, because I ran out of space, but I'm basically trying to fit, like we talked about the game Tetris last week, everything into that space that I found um, to make my installation, like Michael Johansson's artwork. So this is the finished artwork um, where I've tried just to fit as many green things onto the shelf as possible to make a Michael Johansson inspired installation artwork.